Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Coming at you with my full current chest and back routine for achieving ultimate torso gains. All right, the first exercise, you wanna pick a heavy compound. I like the flat barbell. And you wanna go for reps in the two to six range with about four to five sets. I did four sets of four with 205 on the bar, matching my same rep and set scheme about two weeks ago. So I'm pretty pleased that I maintain the strength here, uh, minus the bar speed, which, I mean, this angle does make the bar speed look a little bit slower than it really was. But anyways, we're going over to some lat pull downs after this, and we want to stay in the 10 to 12, maybe even inch into the 15 rep range if you want to get a few extra cheater reps, as we all know that lat pump is a beautiful thing, and if you want to squeeze a few more out, by all means, be my guest. This is an exercise that I like to make sure my grip is not extremely wide, but just wide enough so I can get a full range of motion. It all depends on how long your arms are. After we hit this back exercise for four sets as well, we're moving into this exercise, the inclined dumbbell press, but we're doing it for three sets. The remaining exercises here, guys, are going to be all three sets and in the higher rep range as this is a hypertrophy-based workout. I'm doing a set of 12 here with the 70-pound dumbbells. And boy, was that squeeze at the top beautiful. This is not my bench of choice. As you see, my feet are not even on the ground here, and it is a little bit of an awkward stance. However, I made the most of it, and I actually got a pretty nice contraction. Now, after this, we're moving on to arguably my second or tied for first favorite back exercise, the low cable row. I say low because you want that cable going low. You want to be pulling from a position that's lower than your torso, and if it's not, go get a dumbbell, stick it under your butt, sit on that dumbbell, and then pull. Okay guys, trust me, it's good. Now, depending where you pull will sort of determine where you feel this in your back. If you pull a little bit higher, you will feel it a little bit more in your upper rhomboids and traps, etc. Lower, you're gonna feel a little bit more in that quote-unquote Christmas tree area of your back and lower lats. Yes, I said the lower portion of your lats. However, after this, we're going on to our next chest exercise. We're done with pressing. We're hitting fly, fly away. All right, I just started doing this. Um, you pull an incline bench, or any bench that you can set to an incline, into a cable um, type of machine apparatus, you know what those are, and then you just start flying away, and boy is this contraction amazing. I have been doing incline dumbbell flies all a long time, and I love those. They get a great contraction. However, if you try these, it's really awesome to switch it up and just get that constant tension, and you can even just do slow negatives and really feel it nicely. Now, after this, um, what we moved on to was pull-ups. Why do I do the pull-ups at the end of my workout? Very simple, body weight pull-ups for me and most intermediate to advanced lifters are pretty easy in the beginning of a workout. So I like to put them in the end as a sort of burnout type exercise. Now here, I believe I did 15. It did get a little iffy at the end as I was cheating towards 15. But since it is a burnout exercise, I'm fine with getting close to failure. I believe after this, I did two sets of 12. And I've been really liking body weight pull-ups. I like weighted, but body weight really give you a nice focus and contraction. Now after these pull-ups, we did a pec deck machine. You can replace this if you don't have a pec deck with a flat dumbbell fly or even cable flies again. Just make sure you set those cables nice and high up in your stand up so you can hit that uh, pec minor, I believe, the lower portion of your pec, because that's what we're going for here as we already did our incline fly. I like this machine in particular because it has a setting where you can decide just how far back you want to let your arms go and really control how much of a stretch you want and you can do just like the um, other flies, nice, slow, and controlled negatives. Uh, most gyms will have pec decks so I think you will be 
just in luck for this exercise. After this, we moved on to our final back exercise. Pick a low row for this. I'm picking the dumbbell row, and I'm really focusing on good form here, but nonetheless, still getting as many reps as I can with this 80 pound dumbbell. I finished up with some abs, and that was the workout, guys, so try it out, and let me know how you like it. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, because boy, does that help. Feel free to subscribe to follow me along on my 20-week journey to taking my body fat and incinerating it, and comment, because I will respond. Alright guys, see you in the next video.